100 years ago, the village of Arlington Heights in Illinois began a tradition of honoring the members of our community who served in the armed forces of the United States. On September 6, 1919, a parade welcomed home soldiers, sailors, and nurses from Arlington Heights who served with the American Expeditionary Force in the Great War, or as we call it today, the First World War. That same day, the original charter of the Arlington Heights Merle Guild Post 208 of the American Legion was signed. While this may have been our first Memorial Day, Arlington Heights has a long history of service to our country and honoring our fallen heroes. Two members of the Dunton community, as our village was then called, were Jacob Sigwalt and Walter J. Kennicott, and both of these men died while serving the Union during the Civil War. Their sacrifices are memorialized, in part as streets named for them, Kennicott running next to the United States Post Office, and Sigwalt in front of our village hall. It was immediately following the Civil War that Memorial Day had its origins as a day the graves of soldiers were decorated. At the time, this was also referred to as Decoration Day. In 1887, the town of Dunton became the village of Arlington Heights, and just a few years later, resident George Bray served and died during the Spanish-American War in 1898. From 1917 to 1918, men and women from Arlington Heights served in the Great War. 133 members of the community served, and two members, Theodore Heemsmith and David Hodges, lost their lives in the First World War. The first Memorial Day Parade in 1919 honored Arlington Heights' fallen heroes with a military band, automobiles, float, and outpouring of support from the community. What would continue for another 100 years to present day and beyond. After the war to end all wars, the citizens of Arlington Heights were again called to serve during the Second World War and 37 fallen heroes were lost. Richard Adam, August Bunsick, George Grossi, John Joaquim Nicole, James Scott, E.J. Anderson Jr., Adolph Bussey Jr., John Hatch, Arthur Niebuhr, Maurice Sheehan, Morris Bow, Edward Deary, Warren Henkin, Raymond Peters, Joseph Soyan, Norman Bisi, John Deutsch, James Kellogg, Paul Edward Pingle, Warren Umbright, Albert Behrens, Harry Freemuth, Howard Cryer, Eugene Potter, Paul Wood Jr., Wilbert Behrens, Robert Gardner, Richard Lacina, C. W. Simulovich, Lester Bennett, Wilbert Gieske, Theodore Meyer, Lyle Shane, Franklin Bublitz, David Goodlett, Douglas Milligan, and Anthony Scolaro. As John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. Know why you are living in a country called the land of the free and the home of the brave. As Winston Churchill stated, a nation that does not remember the past has no future. The price of freedom is never fully paid, and in the Korean conflict, two more of our neighbors gave the ultimate sacrifice for the United States of America, F. E. Blumenshine and John Martin Jr. Nine heroic members of our community gave their lives during the Vietnam War from 1959 through 1975. Robert Earl Bardick, Robert Conti, William Dabbert, Scott Jacobson, Douglas Vaughn, Donald Clarber, Harry Lee Craig, Sammy Hartzell, and Daniel Shuren. Citizens of Arlington Heights turned out each year to thank them for their service, including 1976, the year of our nation's bicentennial. Operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm saw a resurgence of patriotic support for the men and women who serve our country. Especially moving were the accolades shown veterans from Vietnam, Korea, and World War II, who marched in the parade and attended the ceremony. The Memorial Day events are just one way we keep the sacrifices of those who serve our country in our current thoughts. We lost one brave member of our community during Operation Desert Shield, Bradley Schultz. With the attack on American soil on September 11, 2001, the men and women of Arlington Heights again answered the call. Those paying the ultimate price for us during Operation Iraqi Freedom were Paul Syverson, Andrew Stern, and William Newgard. In Afghanistan Operation Enduring Freedom, we lost James Stack. 
Every year, the Memorial Day Parade brings out the best of the village of Arlington Heights. Senior veterans ride on floats, waving to citizens lining the parade route who give them the adoration and respect they deserve. Rain or shine, citizens march with honor flags carried in remembrance of our veterans and fallen heroes. High school bands, girl and boy scouts, dignitaries, clubs, and organizations throughout our community participate, while veterans and active military proudly wear uniforms and hats from all branches of service in remembrance of their fallen comrades. At the end of each Memorial Day parade, veterans, active military, and citizens gather at Memorial Park, rebuilt and rededicated in 2011 with the eternal flame sculpture by Franz Vols at the center. Wreaths are placed for our fallen heroes and there is a 21-gun salute. The name of each of our fallen heroes is read aloud as a bell tolls their passing. For as long as we say the names of those who gave everything for us, they are not forgotten. Our community is the compilation of our hopes and goals, the sweat from our brow, inspiration from intellect, and love of our country. Perhaps Brigadier General Gracchus Dunn expresses this the best. Well, one thing I always tell the citizens here in Arlington Heights that I like about this parade, and think about this, it's like a Norman Rockwell picture. <laughs> you start at the local fire station. Then you march around, you pass the bank, you pass through some part of downtown, and you cross the railroad track where this train station is. Then you come across and you see how Arlington Heights has grown. And then you come into the neighborhoods and you see the families out there, the moms, the dads, the grandmothers, the relatives out there with the kids on blankets, in their lawns and you come to the neighborhood of the village of Arlington Heights, and then you wind up at the city park. Where else in America do you see that with this type of crowd? So I want to give you guys a round of applause for being such great Americans. These events to honor our veterans are a reminder of the sacrifice our fellow citizens have made for us. Their profound result is the reaction from the men and women in our military today who participate in the parade. They see how those who preceded them in service are remembered and celebrated, and join in deep reflection as the community at large comes together with profound gratitude. We feel the pride and joy the community expresses to those who have served our country. The ceremony includes those of all ages from all walks of life, from our youngest residents to the first Americans, as members of the Native American Indian Veterans Association have participated. The chief petty officers in charge of training recruits at the Great Lakes Naval Training Center shared that one of the primary reasons they volunteer sailors to participate in the Arlington Heights Memorial Day Parade and Ceremony is that it gives them a chance to see what they are fighting for, what America really is. To mark the 100th anniversary of the Arlington Heights World War I Welcome Home Parade and Ceremony, the Veterans Memorial Committee has struck a centennial commemorative coin to honor and remember our fallen heroes. All veterans present at the Memorial Day Ceremony will receive a coin in recognition of their service to our nation. The Memorial Day Ceremony will be held at Memorial Park at Freeman and Chestnut Streets on Memorial Day, Monday, May 27, 2019. The ceremony will begin at 11 a.m. and conclude at noon. Coins will be available at Memorial Park from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. that day as long as supplies last. Please join us, and we hope that you will take a moment to reflect on the service and ultimate sacrifice of our fallen heroes that follows with the playing of taps by the 144th Army Band from our recent ceremony.